Salt Lake City and Salt Lake County both voting to extend their state of emergencies today due to COVID-19. As ABC4's Jason Wynn explains, this will get much needed aid to essential services. Keeping the state of emergency in place allows cities and counties to get the necessary resources they need as the amount of COVID-19 cases continue to rise in our state. We are still in that buildup and until we start to get control of this and maybe until uh, there's some greater measures in place, we will not be able to say it's safe for you to go out and resume your activities. On Tuesday, Salt Lake City expanded its emergency orders for 30 days and Salt Lake County expanded its declaration until July 6. Both can call off the state of emergency earlier if needed, and this will help keep essential services like water, trash, and sewage, or even our first responders working safely until federal funding comes in. And we know that it's heading our way now, and it will mostly come through the state, although some will directly come to the city. But we are able to receive that because of this emergency declaration. Much of that $2.2 trillion CARES Act will help small businesses, which makes up 90% of our economy. Governor Gary Herbert telling business owners to apply for paycheck protection and disaster loans through the Small Business Administration. So it is universal in its application for the businesses, business people of Utah. As long as businesses keep their employees on payroll and use the loan for operating expenses, the PPP loan will be forgiven. But don't get this confused with the stay home, stay safe orders your local government may be enforcing. Those orders will also need to be evaluated in the coming days. In Salt Lake County, I'm Jason Wynn, ABC4 News.